Hi, hi, hi. It's day five. Day five. Day five is going to be a really special day. Can you hear the horn? We're getting ready to uh, cruise through Glacier Bay. And for me, every time you see pictures of a cruise to Alaska, this is one of the things that really stands out for you. It's the pictures where you're driving through and it's got the walls of the blue ice or you'll see the ice cabbing. And that is when you're going through this area. So it's going to be a really special day today. You never know what exactly you're going to see. If the weather's um, cloudy, that can affect how things go. Um, what you can see, of course, they are bringing a naturalist on board. They're bringing, it's actually Glacier Bay, in, in case you didn't know, Glacier Bay is actually a national park. So we're getting a na another national park under our belt and they bring on rangers, park rangers, and they talk to us all day about everything that goes on. So I'm really excited about today. It's, I've been up for, since about four o'clock. I should have come down earlier. I got down or up, I guess, to the observation area where I like to hang out, and there's already people up here. The spot that I wanted was already taken by somebody at 5 in the morning, uh, but we, I think, we're going to actually be at Glacier Bay at about 7, so um, I will do my best to get some footage. I, I hope I can see it well from up here. It occurred to me a few minutes ago I might have to be on one of the outside decks. But we'll see. There's, um, with the ship only being half capacity, shouldn't be any problem getting a good spot to be able to see these things. So here we are at five in the morning, again in the pitch black, again. I've got my coffee and I'm just going to hang out and wait and see what goes on. We'll talk to you guys soon. those horns are but they're sure a blow in them um, I'm gonna check out some different areas we're gonna have one of us at all times sitting in our spot here so we don't lose it but I'm also gonna go check outside area it's it's gonna be too cold to sit out there for the entire time I think we cruise through here I think it's a couple of hours cruising through here and so um, pretty chilly outside but that might be the way to go too I don't know but I'll check that out as well and let you know what I decide see you soon this could be a problem today in the bay can you see how foggy it is I hope it clears up so we can see things This is the Spinnaker Lounge. It's an observatory and you can see there's a wall of windows all the way around the entire room. This is at the front of the ship. Just above us is where the captain is. Just above, just below, one or the other. So you can see what a gorgeous, gorgeous room it is. And there's room for lots of people in here and very, very comfortable seating. We spend a lot of time in here and it is so nice. They do have a bar. It opens in the afternoon. But anywhere on the ship, if you want anything, they have staff that'll just go get it for you. So this is my most favorite part of the whole ship right here. not looking good it is pure fog out there it's daylight now and as you can see the little edge of the boat thing there the little i don't know what it is but some part of the boat out there and next to it is just pure fog fingers crossed that it clears up well it's 7 30 in the morning and it's not looking good. We'll keep trying. Keep hanging out. Hope it clears up. I think we got a couple more hours before we actually get into Glacier Bay.
Remember how empty this was a few minutes ago? Well, a couple hours ago. Now everybody's down here looking for the glaciers. We can finally see some stuff now. The fog lifted and we're seeing some beautiful scenery. Hey everybody, this is it. This is the end of day five. Five? Are we on day five? Yeah, day five. Today was, oh, today was amazing. We were sailing through the Glacier Bay. I learned so much about the Glacier Bay. Uh, one of the things that I learned, and I had no idea, um, they cannot cruise into the Glacier Bay until the end of until September because it is breeding season for a lot of the wildlife before that and they can't disturb with the wildlife and they can only have two of the big ships per day go into the Glacier Bay so actually it was a pretty lucky thing that we even got to go and as you know this morning I was so worried because of the weather and what they said was most of the time the weather is like that in the morning and then as you get closer to the glaciers it clears up it's some something to do with the way the weather works up here so almost always even though they have a complete and it was completely socked in with the fog as I showed you guys um, and they were blowing the fog horn the horn every two or three minutes all morning long but as we got closer to the glaciers it just cleared right up and it was gorgeous so I hope you enjoyed the few snippets of um, the glacier the photos and the little bit of, of film that I attached to this video I'm gonna do I'll do another video of longer just glacier stuff so if you just want to watch 15 or 20 minutes worth I don't know what it's gonna end up being of glaciers um, down the road I'll I'll be putting that together there was a lot of talking of obviously people were very excited so there was a lot of talking during the filming of glaciers so I have to figure out a way to remove the sound so that may not get posted until after I get back when I can play with it on an actual computer um, but today was glorious and we spent 
basically 12 hours in the process of getting to watching the glaciers and then coming out of that area. So very, very long day. Um, pretty much, I can think of one other thing once we get to Hawaii, but as far as Alaska, this was the highlight of the trip for me was getting to go to Glacier Bay. This was the one thing that I really wanted to be able to do. And I'm so very happy that it turned out as well as it did. And we had just an absolutely glorious day. And everybody, everybody was very nice. I mean, there was crowds for sure to get to the viewing areas. But most people were really nice about standing at the very, very front for a few minutes and then moving back and letting other people. Um, and that's kind of one of the reasons I got a lot of talking in the videos because we were just right next to each other. And um, there was a little guy right next to me and he was so excited and he was jabbering through the whole thing. So it was fun to see his excitement. So um, the rest of the day was we had a dinner. Oh, we went to dinner at it's a restaurant called Silk and it is their Asian restaurant. Their Silk restaurant is a combination Tapanaki and sushi and um, regular Asian food. Um, there was a, the restaurants have some confusion here. It's very odd that you can't, I don't know, the timing of them is weird. I'll talk more about the restaurants later on. There, there's some pros and cons with the restaurants for sure. Um, I would say overall, this was probably the least good dinner we'd had since we'd been on board. Um, actually of any of the food that we've had since we've been on board. The experience was not good, the food was not good, and um, the waiting to get in was definitely not good. We waited almost an hour, um, so that was very odd. But we're not starving to death by any stretch of the imagination. So um, tonight's show was, it's called a, an illusionist. So basically it was a magic show and it was pretty okay um, kind of felt like the guy was really good at the two or three things he could do but he just kept doing the same two or three things over and over so uh, basically the absolute best most amazing day ended up with the the least enjoyable dinner and entertainment but I'll tell you what you can't top the way this day was so I'm gonna do my best to get this and a couple other videos together and dropped and I hope you guys are enjoying these little snippets of Alaska um, tomorrow we were supposed to go to Skagway which would have been well we have Skagway and then Icy Point Strait uh, because of weather they pulled Skagway. There's there's storms, really bad storms and high winds. Um, and in fact, when I was, I mean, it was beautiful all day long. You guys saw in the video how gorgeous it was. And then as I was walking through to get to the other end of the ship, it's pouring down rain, pouring down rain. The decks are a swimming pool. And so, um, yeah, they absolutely pulled Skagway off our list so we're going right to Icy Point Strait and I have been there before um, there's not a whole lot there so we may not even get off the ship we'll wait and see but that will be my last opportunity to uh, have access to internet so we'll see how it goes we'll talk to you guys soon bye bye